Patrick Emerson for Covers.com, coming to you once again from the Cosmopolitan Sportsbooks, one of the few sportsbooks I've seen that has windows out the back. You can actually look out onto the Las Vegas Strip. It's pretty cool. Just another great element of this great sportsbook. Joined once again by Jason Simple, Vice President of Risk Management for CG Technology. Going to talk a little early Super Bowl action. We're a few days into the betting on this, still more than a week out from the game. What are you guys seeing? What's the line? What's the total? And, and how have you guys adjusted? Line open three, and it still is three. However, now the line is three minus 115 on the Patriots. We've seen a lot more Patriot action come in early on here uh, throughout this first week. In fact, there's been two times as many bets on the Patriots and about 1.7, 1.8 times more money on New England. Is that, you know, the Patriots being as public as they are, is that primarily public money? Are you seeing money on account? What are you seeing? Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a mix of both, mostly public money. No huge bets. I mean, we haven't taken any bets in the six-figure range, not even close to that yet. Generally, those won't come in until as we get closer to kickoff. So it's been a lot of kind of a smaller accumulation of bets that have really added up on New England, which forced us to go from minus 110 to minus 115. Okay, and then how about on the total? It's obviously all around town and offshore books and so forth. It's a, it's a record high total for a Super Bowl. What are you guys seeing there? Yeah, we're at 59 with the total. This was an interesting one because this was the thing that they bet right away. When we put up the line, they actually were faster to bet the over than either of the games, uh, than either of the sides, I should say. And that in, ended up increasing. We were at 60 at one point. That's back down to 59 now. So kind of what we're seeing is at 59, we're getting some decent two-way action. 58 and a half, they're betting over. 59 and a half, they're betting under. So I think 59 is the number. You might end up seeing a 60 as we get to kick off because the public right. figures to bet the over. All right, any other unusual action or interesting action? Maybe money line, are, they, are betters looking at that very much? Uh, not, not, not as much yet. Generally, as we get closer to the game, the betters will kind of punt on the money line on the dog, right. trying to get that extra money. But yep. what we've seen early on is people taking New England money line, actually. So it's kind of been interesting there, but we do expect some of that dog money line action to come in next week. And that's sort of alluding to my next, or getting to my next question. How do you see things unfolding over the next week? Do you see three and a half? Do you see any other adjustments? I think that uh, if a book goes to three and a half, it's going to take a considerable amount of liability to get there. I would imagine you're looking, you know, half a million dollar exposure to move off the three if you're going to wait, if you haven't done it already because right. uh, because of the, you know, the middling and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what the public is going to do because I've talked, I've you know been reading articles, talked to a few people. Right. Seems to be pretty split. Maybe 40, 45 percent people like the Falcons, the rest like the Patriots. So we'll kind of have to just play it out. You might uh, work your way into two-way action there, which would be ideal. Yep. All right, there you go. We insights from Jason Simple, Vice President of Risk Management for CG Technology, which operates this great book here at the Cosmo and several others up and down the Las Vegas Strip. For Covers.com, I'm Patrick Everson. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a follow on Twitter at Covers.